number five, compassion. Compassion also connecting the heart and the brain. That's why the name of our spiritual family is spiritual family of compassion. The guiding question is if you want to connect brain and heart by using compassion, the guiding question. Every time you meet someone or something, please ask yourself, what is the suffering of the others? What is the suffering of someone who, who you meet? And the second one, how you can lessen their burden of suffering. That is the way to harmonize brain and heart by using the approach of compassion. First of all, the question, what is the suffering of the others? The second one, how you can lessen someone else's burden. Number five, compassion. Number six, in the topic of brain heart harmony, service. In spiritual family of compassion, we have been serving people more than 10 years, especially on the path of meditation. There are many people who have been healed here. In the moment we serve the others, please remember, the, the first person who is healed is the healer. It is rather different with medical doctor in the hospital. When medical doctor heal the others, the first person who is healed is the others. But on the path of meditation is the opposite. In the moment when you heal the others, the first person who is healed is you yourself. It is true according to my experience. And the most important thing, surface is a kind of strong bridge that connecting brain and heart. Number seven, mantra. Some of the Eastern and ancient tradition prefer mantra. Mantra also connecting brain and heart. Since in the spiritual family of compassion, we are a universal family. We have all religion in our family. Some of our friends, even atheists from Germany. Here is the mantra which is connecting the brain and heart. I am deep gratitude. Whenever you are ready to sleep, you are ready to eat, when you are ready to shower, whatever. Remember to whisper the mantra deep inside the soul. I am deep gratitude. Number eight, the bridge that connecting between brain and heart is happiness. Remember, happiness is not something that happens outside. That something that you do inside. Happiness is not the outcome of what happened outside. Happiness is the outcome of what you do inside. As long as you see the blessing side of what happened, the blessing side, the positive holistic sides of what happened, you can be easily happy. And the most important one, in the moment of happiness, brain and heart are in harmony. Number nine, prayers. Some of you love to pray. If you want to make brain and heart harmony, here is the prayer. May all beings are happy, free from suffering. That is the prayer to make brain and heart in harmony. May all beings are happy, free from suffering. If you want to go deeper, number 10, fill the gap. Like what I said in the guided meditation, fill the gap between two breaths, fill the gap between two sounds, fill the gap between two memory. You entering the quantum field in the language of quantum physics. That is the territory of possibilities. Many things which is impossible become possible if you touch the gap as often as possible.